Welcome back, it's the Guitar and Garages. I'm Zach. I'm Trevor. And today we're going to be showing you a new song. It's by Wyatt Flores. It's called Milwaukee. And today the video is going to be broken up into sections. Trevor is going to be showing you how to play uh, the four basic chords in this song. And then I will be showing you how to play the intro and the first and second verse. And then Trevor will be showing you how to play the chorus of the song. And then at the end of the video, we'll be showing you how to play it together as it's played on the radio. Yeah, it actually uses two guitars in this song. Like, you know, one's playing rhythm, but also while still in the chorus, you still have the guy picking, you know, yeah. the same thing. So it doesn't really stop. So I'm going to show you the rhythm over top of what they're playing. You know, maybe if you have a buddy, they could join in. You all can play it together. So. Yeah. Okay, guys, here are the uh, four chords we're going to use for this song. It's uh, The first chord is going to be an A minor. The second chord is an F, a high F. And then the next chord is a C. And then lastly, a G. But sometimes I play it just two fingers in this song and stay near the top. So, you know, firstly, the A minor. Um, you want to start out, you know, your index finger, first fret of the second string. Your ring finger needs to go second fret of the third string. And your middle finger needs to go second fret of the fourth string. And then you want to try to avoid hitting that, that top chord right there, the sixth string. So when you play it, it should sound like this. Okay. Nextly, we'll move over to the F. Um, that is first finger, index finger on the first fret of the second string. And then you're going to do your middle finger, second fret of the third string. And then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to put it third fret of the fourth string. And you want to try to avoid hitting that fifth, the fifth string. So it's going to sound like this. Now we'll move on to that C. So again, you take your index finger, put it on the first fret of the second string. Next, you'll take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the fourth string. And then you'll take the ring finger up right there and you will put it on the third fret of the fifth string. Again, you wanna avoid that sixth string when you strum this. It should sound like this. And then lastly, that G, um, you could play it two different, you can play it multiple different ways. Um, so a regular G though, the way I play it would be um, middle finger, third fret of the sixth string, index finger, second fret of the fifth string. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna come down here to second, uh, third fret of the second string. So then, you know, that can ring out like this. That's your G. But you can also add that pinky down if you want to on the third fret of the first string. So it's gonna look, look something like this. And then when you strum that, kind of gives you that high note. So that's the only, that's the only four uh, chords used in this song. And now we'll move over to doing the intro. Okay, so this is the intro to Milwaukee. You'll have your capo on your second fret. And uh, your first note will be an A minor. Your second note will be an F. Your third note will be a C. And your last note will be a G to play the intro and all the verses in this song. The original timing in the song goes like this.
playing the A minor, you'll be hitting these chords. Five, three, two, three, four, three. And it will sound like this. And then you'll be playing an F chord and you'll be hitting these chords. Four, three, two, three, four, three. And it will sound like this. And then you will move to your C chord and it will sound like this. You'll hit five, three, two, three, four, three. Again, you'll hit five, three, two, three, four, three. And it will sound like this. And then you will move to your G chord. And you'll not be playing a full G. You'll only need your ring finger on the third fret to play this note correctly. And you'll be hitting this chord. Six. Six. Three. Two. Three. Four. Six. Three. Two. Three. Four. And that note will sound like this. And that's how you play the intro and verses in this song. Okay, so for the chorus, um, you're gonna use those same four chords that we showed you in the beginning, you know, the A minor. The F, the C, and the G. Okay, uh, for the timing for the chorus, uh, it'll it'll sound a little something like this. It'll go. Okay, and the way that timing goes is it's it's going down down up up down up okay and then it'll switch to the next one the f and it will go down down up up down up and then you'll go to the c and it'll go down down up up down up and then it'll go to the g and again this is this is my way i play the g you could play the G any way you know it, and it will still sound good. Um, so this might be for more of an intermediate player, but I promise you beginners, anybody starting out and learning this song, that once you, um, once you get this timing down, the down, down, up, up, down, up, once you get that down, you get it pretty solid, then I would suggest you start getting a little faster with it, you know, try to try to work on your speed to match the song. But um, other than that, that's pretty much the whole song. And now uh, we'll both play it together and see how it sounds. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is Guitars and Garages. I'm Zach. I'm Trevor. And we hope we were able to teach you how to play that song. Again, it's Milwaukee by Wyatt Flores. Uh, we really enjoyed that song, and we hope you all enjoy that song. Yeah, don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Um, even tell your family if you got any family members that's trying to get into guitar, trying to learn, any friends, you know, send them our way. We'd really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.
We thank you guys very much. Mm -hmm. uh, play them out. Thank you.